Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I have a makeup product review for you guys as well as a makeup tutorial on this beautiful, sparkly, soft glam makeup look that's perfect for Eid. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Ace Beauty Liquid Eyeshadow. This is their Maximum Impact Liquid Eyeshadow, you guys, and I have the shade Stella Dusk. I had so much fun playing with this product and creating this look for you guys and also sharing my thoughts and my experience using this product. So if you guys are interested in seeing me create this beautiful makeup look and if you're interested in seeing me use this product and share my thoughts with you guys, then make sure to keep on watching. Now before we jump into the video, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel if you haven't subscribed already ready and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. All right, you guys, we're going to get started with skin prep. The first thing I'm going to do is go in with some lip oil, and this is the Essence Hydra Kiss Lip Oil. Next up, I want to add some moisture to the face, some hydration, and for that, I'll be going in with the Lottie London Bubble Tea Primer. Although this is a primer, I feel like it works better as a moisturizer. Next up, I want to go in with a primer and I'll be going in with my favorite. This is the Milk Hydro Grip. I'll concentrate this on my T-zone, but I will kind of buff it out onto the rest of the face. Going in with the Skin Proud Icicle Cooling Eye Serum Stick under my eyes just to prep them. I want just a little bit more moisture on the face, so I'm going in with the Glow Recipe Plump Plump Hyaluronic Cream. Base prep is done, time to do some color correcting. So I'm actually going to go in with a new color corrector that I've never used. This is the e.l.f. Camo Color Corrector. I'm just working on buffing this color corrector out to areas where I have hyperpigmentation and acne scarring. And this is just going to help me diffuse my imperfections. This product honestly reminds me a lot of the MAC Peach Luster Color Corrector, super comparable, so I'm excited to see kind of how it works once I go in with my base product. For base today, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Golden Beige. Next up, I want to contour, so I'm going in with some cream bronzer. This is the Lower East Side Bronzer in Skyscraper. I'm also going to contour my nose. I'm just gonna add some shadow to both sides and then I will carve out my nose with concealer. Next up, I wanna go in with some blush. I'll be going in with cream blush. This is the Wander Beauty On The Glow Blush in the shade Bare. Next up, I wanna jump into eyes. So I'm gonna go in and just prep my lids with some concealer and this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm gonna blend this all out onto my lid and then I'll set it in place with the Huda Beauty Setting Powder. All right, you guys, time to jump into the product that we're going to be reviewing today. This is the Ace Beauty Maximum Impact Liquid Eyeshadow. I have the shade Stella Dusk, and it's like a beautiful, sparkly rose gold. I think this is gorgeous. Let's swatch it. Swatch it on my hand. Oh, yeah. Do you guys see how beautiful that is? That's like a gorgeous, sparkly rose gold, white gold kind of eyeshadow topper. I think that's beautiful. So to start, I think I want to add just a little bit of shadow to the eyes before we go in with the Ace Beauty product. So I have here the ABH Soft Glam 2 palette, and I'm just going to grab this neutral shade right here. This is the shade called Incense. Alternatively, you could also use a bronzer. Anything that's neutral will work well to create a shadow on the eyes. All right, I'm super excited to be jumping in to the Ace Beauty eyeshadow now. This is a beautiful liquid eyeshadow. Oh my goodness, you guys. So I'm going to concentrate this on the center of the lids. I'm going to leave a little bit of the edge kind of clean because I will be going in with a deeper eyeshadow just to add some dimension. I do really like the applicator. I feel like it's really easy 
to work with and to add the sparkle to the eyes. I'm going to let the liquid eyeshadow dry because we really need this stuff to dry. If it stays creamy and wet, then we're going to have a problem. It's going to crease. All right, so the liquid eyeshadow is all nice and dry. We just need to add a little bit of dimension to the eyes. I think the eyeshadow looks absolutely beautiful, but I do have to admit that liquid eyeshadow, in my opinion, always feels a little bit stiff on the lids, so it's a little bit uncomfortable. It takes a second to get used to, but regardless of that, I think it looks beautiful, and I'm so happy that it dried because that's how you know it's going to stay in place and it's not going to move. I'm going to take the shade mulberry and i'm gonna use this to kind of buff out the outer corners i'm gonna take our crease shade once more and i'm gonna add that to the outer corners just to diffuse everything i'm jumping into the ace beauty mystic romance eyeshadow palette because i want to go in with a little bit of a deeper brown and i think i'm gonna grab this shade right here this is called enchantment and i'm just gonna add this onto the outer portion of the eyes just for a little bit more dimension. I'm gonna go back in with the liquid eyeshadow and I'm just going to diffuse out the area where the two eyeshadows meet. I'm also just adding a little more as I need. I'm gonna take a little break from the eyes. I wanna work on the face again and then we'll go back in and wrap up the eyes. So I'm going in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm just going to highlight the face. I'm going to blend this all out and then I'll set everything in place with the Huda Beauty setting powder. I'm using the concealer to clean up the eyeshadow and create a nice outer V. And just going in with the Huda Beauty setting powder. And I'm just going to apply some around the mouth for some brightening. I'm also going to clean up the contour and the blush. I'm going to take my brush and wipe away the setting powder because it's all done setting on my face and with whatever excess powder I have I'll also just touch that onto the cheeks just to set them because it is a cream product so you do want to go in and set it next up I want to add some highlight to wrap up the base so I'll be going in with the Wander Beauty highlight and this is in the shade after hours That looks absolutely stunning. I love this highlight. I'm going to add some on the tip of my nose and the bridge as well. And of course, the Cupid's bow. I'm going to quickly do my brows by brushing them with the Benefit Give Me Brow. Brows are done. Let's finish up the eyes and the lips and the look will be complete. So I'm going back in with the shade Incense, which is the neutral shade from the Soft Glam 2 palette. And I'm just going to add this to my lower lash line. This is the same shade that we used to add add to the crease to create a nice shadow. I'm going to finish off the look with some mascara off camera. This is the Huda Beauty One Coat Wow. All right, eyes are done and I'm absolutely loving how they're looking, you guys. I really like this mascara for a quick lash look, so I've been jumping into this a lot recently. I think the eyes look absolutely amazing. This is more of like a soft glam look, but I could definitely use this for heavy glam, do a little bit more of a deeper shadow and add some falsies and wing liners so definitely I can use this for a lot of looks quickly lining my lips with the wet and wild color icon lip liner in chestnut and for lips I want to go in with a new lip gloss this is the Huda Beauty faux filler in the shade bombshell All right, you guys, so that is pretty much it for today's makeup product review on the Ace Beauty Maximum Impact Liquid Eyeshadow. Overall, I think this is a beautiful liquid eyeshadow, you guys. Look how beautiful and glowy and sparkly my eyes look. I like the formula. I like that it dries relatively fast because you don't want a liquid eyeshadow that's going to continue to stay wet because then you'll just get creasing on the eyes and that's not cute. I love the tone of this color. I think it's gorgeous. It's going to work so well on everyone and it's going to be great for so many different types of looks like today I created a nice soft glam but I could definitely use this for a heavy glam by going in with some winged liners, some falsies, maybe some more deeper eyeshadow colors on the outer corners to add more dimension. There's just so much you can do with this product. So yeah, overall I think I really like this product. 
product and I definitely recommend it to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it useful and if you want to see more makeup product reviews by me, make sure to check out my channel and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And you guys, that is pretty much it. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.